Okay, so he's found these, he's looked at these spiral nebulae and he wanted to work out how far away they were and he used something called parallax. So you can do this now. So basically if you just put your hand out like this and you close one eye and then you close the other eye, you'll notice that your fingertip moves against the background. And if you move your fingertip closer and do that, you'll notice that there's a difference in how much it moves. Um, so basically the further away the object is, the less it moves against the background. And he was able to mathematically actually work out what that meant in terms of distance. So basically we call this parallax. Um, examples of this in real life would be when you're driving in a car and you're going past a forest and the trees that are really close to you look like they're going really, really fast compared to the ones in the background. Or when you look at the moon at night and you're traveling again um, and it looks like the moon is staying still but the trees in front of you are, and the, the buildings and things are moving quickly. It's that idea that things that are closer with that um, will appear to shift further away compared to the background. Uh, so this is what we do to work out how far away these, these stars are.